And hello all for another relatively quick little update. Those of you who don't like the one or two minutes, this is all it's going to be. You might want to click off right now. Anyway, I uh, had a lovely little overnight solstice cruise up the gorge in Victoria. And uh, that was a great little respite. Um, today, <laughs> uh, we got a couple of things going on. I had an idea. Disregard the massive amount of leaking coming out of the bottom of the boat. If you can see, I'm actually caulking the garbage seam with burlap. Uh, strips of burlap and that is in an effort to basically flood the boat up to the full garboard seam and a little bit higher to swell those back up again those are the only ones that are really scaring me these ones up here these will cock up fine this, these gaps are not a problem at all but the garboard is open a good quarter of an inch and that's really too much so the boat is definitely dried up because when i first um reefed those seams out they were tight so it's it's not that there's a gap it's just that it's dry so back here you can see it's holding water now generally and uh this is going to work really well i actually just got to get back under do a little more of that caulking and tighten it up and then i can carry on doing butt blocks and stuff in the wheelhouse which is what i'm really enjoying i really really enjoyed the work i did yesterday there uh you saw it um with the uh, getting some oil on stuff makes it look pretty today's project on top of that is this now you're all familiar with this uh, particular butt joint it's the one if i stand back far enough here you can see that it's the one near the bow uh, where basically the um, hard chine begins. In other words, the hard chine, the outer chine log here comes along and it basically begins at this butt block. So this plank actually has to take quite a bit of a curve to begin that whole process. And this is the butt block that failed on me while I was afloat last year and scared the heck out of me. Well, scaring the heck out of me now too I'll tell you I've just removed everything inside but you know that's good I knew this butt block was going to be bad so now I can really really tackle it put in a super block put in lots of bolts I'm probably going to put bolts both sides of the frame that's here and put a large uh, piece across inside that will bridge that all together because this needs to be absolutely rock solid so I'm pretty excited about that so all of these things are going really well and the time I spent uh, working in the um, uh, wheelhouse uh, yesterday doing all those frames, not frames, but the uh, floors and all that, I really enjoyed that. And I did it a little slower than normal. I am now a good day and a half behind schedule. That's not a problem. I've come to another realization and this is an announcement. Yes, indeed. I am going to forego the uh, CYA cruise and stay here until the boat is ready, which is probably only three or four more days I don't know what it's going to be. Um, hopefully I'll catch up with the end of the cruise and uh, we'll still go to Desolation. We'll still have our own super cruise. In fact, and Lloyd will join me on that. Uh, and of course, all of you will too. Uh, but I'm not going to uh, follow an arbitrary deadline that I'd set for myself, which I've done in the past and works, but I just have a little bit too much here to do and a little too much stress. Anyway, that's it for today. Someone just dropped off some lovely big goods from Mosey's here. Uh, so grateful to you. Uh, so there's a little midday lunch. See you tomorrow with a proper episode. Cheers.